Hey guys, my name is Megan, and I'm here with my colleague Amanda in CRCC Asia's Philadelphia office. Um, and we're here to talk to you today about one of our exciting new programs this summer. It is our Manchester Internship Program. Hi guys, my name is Amanda, and like Megan said, I'm an admissions advisor here. So if you apply to our Manchester Internship Program, I'll help you through the steps of applying all the way up until you leave to go on the program. Yep, we're really excited about this new program. We've been running internship programs in China for 11 years now, and this is our first program in the UK. So to be part of our inaugural UK Manchester program, you can apply by this Monday on our website. It's quick and easy, there's no commitment required when you first apply. Then you'll get to talk to the lovely Amanda about your internship options in the United Kingdom this summer with us. Um, and before you do that, we want to give you some of the logistics and the nuts and bolts of the program. So bear with us, and we're going to share with you a presentation about the Manchester program. Okay guys, let's dive right in and start talking about this summer's Manchester Internship Program. Our program is centered around five core learning objectives, and from your first interview with us to your pre-departure training to the cultural events and professional development events on the ground to the training we do right before you leave, you'll be working on getting these five skills from our program. The first is employability. So not only are you going to be more employable because of your experience in Manchester, but we want you to be able to talk about why this experience makes you more employable. So we'll be training you on how to add this experience into your resume and how to talk about it in a future interview. The second learning objective is cultural agility, and this is basically your ability to work with and in other cultures. This is very important in today's globalized workforce, and we consistently hear back from alumni of our program as well as host companies and other businesses all over the world that this is one of the most important things they consider when hiring new employees. The third learning objective is UK knowledge. So all of our events and training are built around making sure you are understanding Manchester, the United Kingdom, and the business and sectors that you're experiencing within those contexts. Which leads us to our first, fourth learning objective, which is sector-specific knowledge. We're going to be training you before you go and while you're there to understand your sector as it operates in Manchester and in the United Kingdom. You're going to be given uh, project-based work in the sector that you choose, and you will be able to choose your sector, which Amanda is going to talk about a little bit later. So you're going to be getting really tangible experience in the field that you've chosen. And the fifth learning objective is global connections. So we're really trying to emphasize the importance of building a global network of people that you're able to call on as friends and as professional contacts. We're going to train you on how to network, and we're going to give you lots of opportunities to network in our events and in our programming on the ground. Great. So you may be wondering why we chose Manchester for our internship program or why you should go to Manchester for an international internship. One of the reasons that we chose it is because the cost of living in Manchester is about 30% cheaper than if you did a similar experience in London. So that's great for you because you'll be able to pay less for um, things like going out to eat, as well as just making the program fee cheaper because of the accommodations in the city. Another great reason is because of the wonderful companies that are headquartered in Manchester, such as the BBC and Adidas. Another reason is because of the really great uh, sports and music scene that there is in Manchester. You may have heard of Manchester United or Manchester City Soccer Clubs, and you'll probably have the opportunity to go to a game or maybe more than one while you're there. Um, it's also a great city for those of you that are really interested in music, and you can always go out and see some great live music in Manchester. Yep, lots of iconic football or soccer if you're American like us. <laughs> lots of iconic music spots, and it's consistently rated in top cities to visit, not only in the UK, but in the world, and for a very affordable price. So lots of exciting reasons to live in Manchester this summer. So you might be wondering what's included in your program, and we will be including a lot both before, during, and after you do this internship program. Before you leave, we'll be helping you pick your top three sectors that you're interested in doing an internship in in Manchester. You'll be guaranteed an internship in one of those sectors of choice. We'll also be assisting you with all of the visa processing that you'll be needing to go to Manchester. Yep, and during the program, we're going to have people on the ground with you in Manchester to make sure that this 
experience goes smoothly for you, um, and also to help you make the most of your time there. So that includes everything from picking you up to the airport to dropping you off at your host company on the first day and personally introducing you to your supervisor, to other logistical things like showing you how to use public transportation, getting you a SIM card, giving you a city guide, being available 24-7 for support, but also there to arrange fun excursions, weekend events, evening events, cultural activities, and professional development workshops. So there's a lot included in the program other than just the internship. And then once you return to the program, you still have access to our huge alumni network. So that includes all of our alumni that will be doing the Manchester program, as well as students that have done our internship programs in places like Shanghai. Um, it also includes more opportunities. So if you would like to do an internship with us in the future, or you would like to become a campus ambassador with us at your college. Yep, so I touched on this a bit in the previous slide, but this just elaborates a lot on the things that you'll be doing on the ground that are outside of your internship. So you'll be getting involved in the local community with different outreach and um, community assistance events. You'll be having lots of opportunities to network with other businesses and host companies that we work with on the ground outside of your own host company. There's lots of social events, so taking tours of different interesting parts of Manchester, getting involved in the live music scene, visiting different restaurants and cafes, and we'll be not only making recommendations, but organizing um, official tours that we'll lead you on, so you're really getting immersed into the local culture in Manchester. Great, so we talked a little bit about those internship sectors on a previous slide, but here you get to see all 12 of the internship sectors that we're offering for you this summer. So no matter what your major is in college or what you graduated in, if you've already graduated, we likely have a sector for you. So our most popular ones this summer are highlighted here, and those range from business and accounting all the way to NGOs and charities. Um, and if there's something that you're interested in that you don't see on the screen, please let us know. We want to try to help you find an internship that will really fit what you're interested in working on this summer. Yep. And good news, it's pretty easy to get to Manchester if you're in the U.S. And all of these cities listed here, for example, have direct flights right to Manchester, so it's not too far away. And you can encourage all your friends to come visit you as well. I'm sure they'll be very jealous of you. And these are the program dates. So we want to let you know that time has not yet run out to apply to our program. If you're thinking about this experience with us and wondering if it's the right fit for you, do apply on our website by March 20th, which is this coming Monday. Um, there's no commitment when you submit your application. It's quick and it's easy. And the first step after you submit that application is to have a phone call with us where we explore all the opportunities we have for you, answer any questions you have, and talk to you more about what's available to you on the ground in Manchester in your field. Great, so go ahead and go to our website. The application is free and, like Megan said, only takes about 15 minutes. And we're excited to see you in Manchester this summer. Thanks, guys. Let us know if you have any questions, and see you soon.